Thank you for joining Old Black Hollywood. My name is Claire and I will be your host who will be sharing information with you about old Black Hollywood actors from the early 1900s to the 1970s who paved the way for the new Black Hollywood of today. So let's begin with the show. Welcome to Old Black Hollywood. I watched The Perfect Find on Netflix, starring Gabrielle Union. What I enjoyed most about the movie is how the director, Numa Perrier, introduced one of my favorite old Black Hollywood actresses, Nina Mae McKenney. Nina Mae McKenney was mentioned in the movie as being a trailblazer in Hollywood during the 1920s. And I 100% agree. Now, let us talk more about Nina Mae McKinney and why she was a trailblazer in Hollywood during the 1920s. Nina Mae McKinney was born Nanny Mamie McKinney on June 12, 1912 in Lancaster, South Carolina to Hal and Georgia Crawford. At the age of 12, her parents had to move to New York City for job opportunities. McKenney stayed behind with her great aunt in Lancaster, South Carolina, up until the age of 16, when she was able to reunite with her parents in New York City. When she arrived there, that's when she knew she wanted to become a singer. So she joined a girls chorus group named the Black Birds of 1920. As she was performing on stage, she was noticed by a well-known director who offered her her first movie role in Hallelujah in 1929. Hallelujah was McKinney's first acting movie role, and it was an all-black cast After movie. McKinney starred in the big hit Hallelujah, she received a contract to sign with MGM for five years. She became the first African-American movie the star. The New York Daily News deemed McKinney as an honest-to-goodness screen star. Although McKinney appeared in a dozen movies over the two decades, she only received credit for half those films. Her last credited movie was Pinky in 1949, where she played the jealous girlfriend. McKinney made the decision to leave the United States to tour for Hallelujah for three months in Europe. While she was in England, she starred in the movie Sanders of the River, opposite one of our favorite old Black Hollywood actors, Paul Robeson, in 1935. McKinney was recognized for being the first African American entertainer on British television. In Europe, McKinney was nicknamed the Black Garbo. McKinney returned back to the United States. However, it was difficult for her to find creative roles. Hollywood refused to glamorize McKinney as an icon despite her McKinney beauty. was only receiving supporting roles as a maid, so she decided to move back to New York City. On May 3rd, 1967, at the age of 54, McKinney passed away 
of a heart attack. In 1978, Nina Mae McKenney was finally inducted into the Black Filmmakers Hall of Fame. She will always be remembered for being the first African American movie star and to sign a five year contract. I encourage everyone to take time to watch some of her movies on YouTube. One of them I think you may like, which is called The Devil's Daughter. That was to me an interesting oh, I'm just as much my father's daughter as you are. Even though we did have different mothers, he never forgave me for staying here. He hated me. 